Aiden, what do you want, son? These renegades, it seems they're everywhere. Not for long. Once we get the transmitter on top of the VNC tower, the Butcher will have to retreat. I'm not sure it's going to be so simple, Jack. Simple? I heard you're doing a hell of a job clearing the city of rats. Do you think they might be looking for something in the center? I mean, they keep coming, but it's not like an organized attack. Of course it's not organized, because it's being led by a madman. If Williams is really crazy, why didn't he just flood the city with the toxic water instead of sending in random excursions? Crazy is as crazy does, Aiden. Given how easily he could do it, destroying the city isn't his goal. Not all at once, at least. By sending in bloodthirsty renegades, the Butcher's just creating chaos for its own sake. So the good people of the city become steeped in fear as he sits there in his high throne in white motherfucking gloves and listens to classical music. That sounds pretty fucked up to me. But we can counteract his terrorism with our campaign of enlightenment. That's why it's so vital to get the transmitter operating. So the people know the true enemy. Then we can defend ourselves properly. Nothing. I think I know everything I need. Good luck then. What's up? I wanted to officially thank you. Aita's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Anyone there?
Good job, man. You showed him. You're a goddamn superhero. That beast had us trapped here. Wouldn't go away. It attacked us right as we got here. Mark got hurt pretty bad. We barely escaped and huddled up here. Finally went quiet not long ago. We thought that thing had wandered off. Next thing we hear is you banging on our barricade, and then it all started again. I'm looking for Demolin. You guys seen him? Up top. Uh, come on. Let's get you to a doctor. Get ready. This might hurt. Demolin, right? I'm Aiden. Not bad. Not bad. Aiden? Nice to meet you. Your skills are exceptional, and you don't look like a peacekeeper to me. So who are you? I'm a pilgrim. I haven't been here long. A pilgrim? Did you travel far to reach the city? Quite a long way, yes. Why? Have you been to Marseille by any chance? I'm sorry. I never heard of the place. My hometown. I wonder what's become of it. Juan told me to check up on you and the lamps. Ah, the lamps. Piece of cake, he says. Huh. No such luck. We found a few, but it wasn't what you would call a bountiful harvest. And it came at great cost. The corporal killed by the beast outside has a brother in the unit. He will be devastated. He is at present with a squad down south on the lower dam promenade. They have not reported in. That doesn't sound good. We need to find him. The boy's mother lost her husband in a dark zone just last week. Now, a son. If her other son were to perish, it would be too much for any mother to bear. I'll try to find him. Okay. The boy's name is Sebastian. The islands are a dangerous area. Worse since the renegades overran them. Hey, thanks for what you did out there, man. You Man, 
You saved our asses. You think I'll name my boy after you? you? Say, what's your name? If I have a son, I want to name him after you. You're gonna be a dad? Congrats. Well, not really. Still haven't found the right girl. Not yet. But when I do, and we have a son, we'll call him... Aiden. And if it's a girl, Adina. Great. Supply are quite a helpless bunch, it seems. What did you expect? There were ordinary people before the fall. Craftsmen, teachers, gardeners, not fighters. Renegades. More of them. Again? That's crazy. It has to be part of something the Butcher and Waltz are brewing. But why now? 
Found your men, um, some of them at least. I'm sorry to say, they're dead. Aiden? You sure? How many? Two bodies, both quite dead. The squad had five men. There are three others. There's still hope. Okay, I'll look for them. Totally berserk. It's crazy, I know. Something must have happened to them. They used to be regular soldiers, at least most of them. But now they're more like living virals. They're mad. They kill everyone in their path. Like mad? What do you mean? They say Williams treats them like animals, and they go wild. Well, the butcher is crazy, like they say. Crazy and unpredictable. Get over here and save me! <sighs> <sighs> 
I was a gunner for sure. Thanks. You guys all right? Me? Yeah. Sebastian, not so much. How is he? Pretty bad. Goddamn renegades. Don't know why there's suddenly so many of them in the center. Came at us so hard and fast. Only seven and I managed to get away. You able to walk? I won't leave him alone. Not when he's like this. He needs a new bandage. This one's a mess. I don't have any more. Listen. Did Demlin tell you about him? Oh yeah, about his brother and father? No, not that. Sebastian is an artist. Demlin promised him to take him one day to Marseille. To his father's shop. He can't die like this. Please. And this should help? I'm sure I'll be fine. But I was sent here for the lamps. Where are they? After we drove off the Renegades, we reached the building. To get in, we strung some ropes across from the next roof. And that's when the renegades attacked again. And the lamps? They're still on the landing pad on the roof. The military hit them well, made sure no one could see them from above. Seba only saw them from the next building, through binoculars. But we didn't get a chance to finish securing the ropes. Is there any other way to get there? You could go through the building, but like I said, wall-to-wall -wall biters. I gotcha. I'll try the rope. You'd have to be a spider to climb in. And it's swarming with renegades outside. I like taking chances. Take this, contact Emelyn, and tell him what happened here. I'll go get those lamps.
Fine, but I took a fall. The lamps are busted in this one. Gotta take care of that thing up top and check the other container. Admit it. Juan's your type. What? I... The one. Get lost.
Hey, Demolin, got your lamps. A dozen crates, maybe more. All untouched. Très bien, my friend. Tobias told me you helped them as well. Many thanks. Tu es très débrouillard. Thanks. Whatever that means. There's too much for me to carry on my own, and no way I'd make it through the infected while loaded down. The boys can get to the roof and manage the lamps themselves. Hey, Juan, we secured the lamps, but the squad hit a snag when the renegades... Shh, not over the radio. Come to my quarters on the ship.